Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is trash time. Please let this be <laughs> empties time because it is overflowing, you guys. I have got to do these videos more often because it is like my floor begins to be the collector once this gets full and it's not a good thing. Um, I had did decide to do a sheet mask empties separately because I had so many. So I am going to try to just go through this stuff, um, you know, for like the everyday kind of things. But if it's something uh, that I need to, I will give you a good description because, you know, you may be asking, why are we looking in my trash? Well, because what better thing am I able to give you a thorough review on what, uh, other than something that I've finished? right that's why we do it and it's just curiosity i love watching these videos and hey let's see what i've been using okay so let's get started um first things first is the timeless ha spray with matrixel 3000 and cucumber extract i really do like this for a facial spray it's something that i would use in the morning before I put my makeup on, I really like it. I think I am going to do uh, the Urban Decay B6 spray again, um, but this is definitely something that I will re will repurchase at some point. Um, Matrixel 3000 is uh, a heavy hitter in the skincare game, and cucumber extract is excellent for your skin. <clears throat> um, I went through a Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number no. 9. I wish I didn't like this. Her her products are just entirely too expensive. Um, but I really did like this face oil. I am going to try some cheaper versions, um, different brands, obviously, of face oil. Um, but that really is a good one. Really good. Um, the eye cream, Colleen Rothschild, it's okay. I really don't like eye creams in a pot anymore. So, unless it comes in something other than a pot, I will not repurchase. Um, and that is just because when you open the pot up and light and air gets into it, it, some say it contaminates what is inside. Not contaminate, but weakens the, pro the um, properties that it has. I uh, went through a timeless hyaluronic acid, a pure hyaluronic acid. Uh, absolutely love this. I use it every morning, every night. First thing I use after my toner, put this on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to charge up the memory card. Uh, so this is fantastic. I put it on. It sinks into the skin after a minute, um, and then I go on with everything else, and it just has really transformed my skin. I can't tell you enough how much you need hyaluronic acid if you have dry skin. Um, let's see, I went through a Walmart brand, Parents' Choice, Baby Wipes. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have a baby. My baby is nine, um, so I don't need these. But I was like, I don't use them on my face, so why am I spending the money on beauty wipes when I can get cheap diet baby wipes? Same, does the same thing, takes the makeup off my hands, um, beautifully and it's just a dollar or two so absolutely um and i do have another one of those i they come in packs they're so cheap they come in packs um i went through a swispers cotton rounds um i didn't realize how much i like these um until i didn't have them anymore and i'm using what people love which are the white cloud cotton squares i like these better so I will end up repurchasing these. I got those from Costco. Um, I do believe my husband said our cards are expired. So, I may see where else I can find those. Probably on Amazon. Probably. Uh, let's talk about hair. Let's see. I have four, <laughs> four things. Um, one shampoo, two conditioners. There may be another shampoo down in that mess. We'll see. Um, it is the Vitamin E Shampoo and Conditioner. Absolutely love this. Um, I do purchase this from Target, but of course you can get it anywhere, I'm sure. Um, and absolutely love it. My hair 
has completely responded to the mixture of the shampoo and conditioner as well as the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I put this on my, from about here down, every time I wash my hair. And I'm telling you, my split ends have, my ends have started looking so much better after using these products. I have introduced a new shampoo and conditioner into my hair regimen. Um, just because with the boxing and the kickboxing, I'm washing my hair more, a lot more often than normal. And um, I didn't just want to use the same shampoo and conditioner all the time. But I absolutely love this. And um, actually, the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using is from the Shea Moisture line. So keep you posted on that. Um, let's see. We have two Dove body washes. This is my favorite body wash um, in the winter when I need something moisturizing, but sometimes it just smells so good. I use it all year round. Um, this one was the Blue Fig and Orange Blossom scent. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, both of these were. So, absolutely love the Dove Buddy body wash, and I do believe I have one now. Um, this is my Holy Grail Astringent. This is the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera. My skin loves this stuff. It acts like it loves this stuff. Um, I used a different toner. Had to come back to this, and when I use it, my skin feels not only clean, but refreshed and happy. Uh, yes, I talk to my skin, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, there's another Swispers. Um, I finished a Bath and Body Works Limoncello Soap. This is for the kitchen whenever you use, whenever you cut like onions, garlic, things like that, and that smell gets on your hand, fingers, um, this takes that away, and I got it from Bath and Body. It's the only reason I'm showing you, because, you know, we all love Bath and Body Works. Uh, went through a Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser go through these this is probably my fourth bottle of it um i have one now i use this with my skin cosmetics spin brush and absolutely love it it's very gentle um it's non-irritating let's see it says it helps skin retain moisture fragrance free so just a very simple, simple moisturizer that has been good for my dry skin. Um, went through a Michael Todd Honey and Oat. I do love this face wash. But even more right now, I love my Tony Moly Banana Cleanser. I cannot just tell you how much. And I don't know when it's going to be in my empties. It should have been a long time ago, but it just keeps going and going and going. So, is, this is something that I would repurchase at some point, but I just don't know when because I'm loving the Tony Moly that much. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you don't care about the contact solution. That's just something you have to use if you wear contacts, right? Um, I finished a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, yes, I have repurchased. And I tell you what, when this, the day that this, ah, this bully just fell off. <laughs> the day that I, this ran out, it was in the morning when I was getting ready to go to work. That's a bad time. And, like, I didn't even get one swipe with it, and then that was it. So, yeah, it was a brow bad brow day that day so I repurchased two so when I run out of one I've got another one that's how much I love this thing I will never go back to Anastasia um, I like it even better than the NYX so definitely will always repurchase that um, I threw this out this is the tangle teaser something that my hairdresser uses on my hair but you know, he uses his once every two months when I'm there. 
they just don't last on my hair to use regularly because I have too much hair and what I have is very thick. So, um, Another Colleen Rothschild product. This is the Extreme Recovery Cream. If you have dry skin, this is an excellent moisturizer, but again, very expensive. I am looking into different moisturizers for nighttime, but I will keep everyone posted. Um, went through a Skin Cosmetics Pure Energy um, Iconic Sea Elements Replenishing Mineral Bath. Um, this is another one of the facial sprays. I absolutely love spraying these before I do my makeup. We'll continue 100% using those. Um, I will repurchase this at some point, but I'm kind of playing the field with it, um, seeing which ones that I like. Uh, let's see. That will wait. Um, oh, here was another good one. The Ahava Time to Hydrate Active moisture gel cream this was fantastic uh, for dry skin absolutely fantastic 100 percent recommend that for dry skin um let's see finished finally finally the it cosmetic cc plus color correcting full coverage cream and light absolutely hated this packaging you just push this thing it comes out the center i had a huge problem with that not quite sure why didn't like it uh, took me forever to finish it went back to the pump one in uh fair instead of the light because sometimes the light would get a little too dark for me um i finished a l'oreal infallible makeup setting spray um, I do like this very much. Right now I'm using the Scandinavia and I'm getting low on that. So I'm not sure which one I will repurchase. We're going to have to see about that. Um, I finished a sample of the almond shower gel that everyone raves about. I just, the L'Occitane one, um, I just don't know what everyone's so in love about. Um, I will say I've had this for quite a while, so I don't know if it is past, you know, expired or I just don't know. So I'm going to try, I'm going to probably order like the small size and see if it's any better. But this one was just not up to par for me. Um, this I really like. This was an Ole Henriksen Sugar Glow Facial Scrub. This is what I would use in the shower. I purchased this, I believe, at TJ. It was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, where it was $9.99. Um, that price for Ole Henriksen, you better get it. Uh, and it was fabulous. It smelled, it, it, it still smells just so refreshing. And absolutely love it. Um... African red sea pomegranate and pumpkin smells in here. Oh my god, it smells so good. If I see another one of these for $9.99, I'm definitely gonna buy it. Uh, I finished a well, you know what? No, I didn't finish. It expired. The Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. I really like this for a primer, but I still am using my Nivea Aftershave Balm for men as my primer um, so I just wasn't getting this wasn't getting played with enough but absolutely fabulous product um, I went through a sample of the agave oil treatment this was nice but again a sample so um, it's kind of hard to tell with a sample right um, I got rid of this it was the Dr. Schwab flawless skin fluid I believe this came in one of the subscription boxes. I did not like this. It just didn't sit well on my skin. It would peel up and you, know, you have the little beads of it. I just didn't like it. I don't want to have to mess with something on my skin. I just want it to work. So getting rid of it. Lips, absolutely love this. It is the City Lips Advanced Formula um, HA Plumping Spheres with Collagen and Peptides. Um, I really do love this. I don't talk about it enough anymore. You go to citycosmetics.com to purchase this. I put it on every morning after I've done my skincare. I put my Burt Bees chapstick on and then I put this over it. It plump, it does plump. And if you don't believe it plumps, you get it 
on the outside of your lips and your skin turns red and it flumps up. So put it on the lips, absolutely. It just makes it look better. But again, let me say, it may not work on everyone because I believe I did a video one time talking about it and someone said, it doesn't do that on me. Honey, everything is subjective here in the beauty world. If it looks good on one person, it may not look good on the other. If it works on one person, it may not work on the other. I'm saying, I love it. Um, I went through a sample of the Colleen Rothschild Age, Renew Age Renewal Super Serum. Um, again, sample. It's kind of hard to tell if it's good or bad. I will not order the full size because the Colleen Rothschild products are just... <coughs> way overpriced, I think. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, I went through a Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. Um, I absolutely love the Neutrogena products. They are actually have some good anti-aging things in there. I mean, look it up. If you've got wrinkles, fine lines, this is a good drugstore brand. Um, I finished up my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Uh, you know, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I can't believe I finished it. And I thought this was just like the most wonderful thing ever until I used the Physician's <coughs> Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, my God. It is phenomenal. Um, I'm saying it's better than this one. I can't believe I'm saying that, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. I went through an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Not a big to-do. I don't have to wear eyeshadow primer. Um, it's just something that came in, um, you know, something from Urban Decay. I finished up a Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean. There's nothing to show you because it's a pan, but I absolutely love this as a transition color um, on the lid. And of course, I do have a, another one. Um, I finished a NYX brow pencil, micro brow pencil. Again, I love the L'Oreal one much better, so I will not purchase that again. Nothing's wrong with it. I just like that one better. Bye, Amanda. Um, went through a Lorac behind the scenes. Again, this is an eye primer. Um, it's perfectly good, but again, I don't need an eye primer. Um, I'm getting rid of the Buxom eyeliner. I absolutely loved this one. It stayed very well, but towards the end, it just started irritating my eyes. Not sure why. Um, finished a sample of the Lancome, um, Seals Booster. I... I uh, eyelash primer looks like that. Finished that, and I do like that. Um, may repurchase. I finished an Elf under eye hydrating under eye primer. Love this stuff. What is it? Three dollars, six dollars? Who cares what it is? But fact is, it is cheap and it works. It seriously hydrates under eyes. If if your under eyes are dry. You should give this a try. I ordered them on their website, but you can find them in the store as well. Um, let's see. Getting rid of the Glam Glow Super Mud Cleansing Treatment. Just got to where I was only using this when I had breakouts, and I just wasn't having enough of them, and it pretty much just dried out. Um, it's down to the bottom anyway, so it's not like I was very wasteful, but... There's just no need to have that if you're just needing it to for the pimples, right? Because there are other things that you can use. Um, last but not least are two lip products. Um, this is the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. Comes like this. Um, I didn't like... I liked the lip balm. I didn't really care for the packaging because you had to stick your finger in it. And, you know, if your fingers, you know, it contaminates it. Because if something's on your finger, you know what I mean. But it's a great lip balm. It's what I would put on my lips at night before going to bed. I like that. And I loved 
this the jack black intense therapy lip balm this is the, the natural mint and shea butter spf of 25 obviously don't need the spf if i'm putting it on at night but i absolutely love this um really great lip balm that stuck around so very nice all right uh oh that was not last the <laughs> last but not least are my Plexus products. I just have two of the three things that I'm taking here. Um, and I've been collecting this stuff for a while, so I actually have two of each. It is the Plexus Pro Bio 5 and the Little Pink Drinks. They come in little packets and come in packages like this. Um, if you weren't in watching a video a little bit ago, um, I did explain that I am a Plexus ambassador now. This has completely transformed my health and my life. Completely believe in it. Um, I will do a video just solely about Plexus, so I'll give you a little bit more information. But these two products, this is the probiotic that I take every night. You can take up to four pills if you want. Not only does it give me the best night's sleep and makes me awake and ready to go in the morning, but it has a year, several years of battling a thyroid condition. The three products I use, um, the Triplex, have completely made my thyroid levels normal. So absolutely unbelievable. ProBio 5, again, uh, my husband even takes this and he's the biggest cynic there is. Doesn't believe any of this stuff works and he believes this so much that he's taking it. And I'm probably going to make him uh, get his own, so he'll quit taking mine, and make him an ambassador too. <laughs> um, next, but not uh, last, uh, is the Slim. Um, these are the little pink packets. Um, it, the name of this is Slim, Plexus Slim. Um, it's not something that's, that is going to be a miracle weight loss thing for you to use. You have to get out there and burn those calories and work for it. What I will say this is for me is something that just makes me feel good. It's just a natural feel good. And if you're having a hard day, these things are good. Um, so I really like it. Uh, the, the little packaging put in a bottle of water. I do in the morning fill up my Bubba cup and put them in there and then drink on it off and on all day. So absolutely love those. Um, I will link my Plexus website down below if you wanna look at the products. Um, but it truly has transformed my life for the better. So that is it. Hope you all have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions about the products, any questions about Plexus. And again, there will be a video coming soon just about that. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.